Welcome to Sawdust and Wood. Today I'm going to simplify angle cutting for everybody. This is going to be the easiest tutorial to learn how to cut a cute and obtuse angles. If you like everything I do and all the content I provide, please take a moment, just take you a minute, subscribe, share the video. Alright, so I need everyone to use their imagination right here. This is a wall you're trying to put trim on. So, you want to come and you want to measure that wall. Take out my angle finder. And I'm going to sit on that wall. It's right at 120. Alright. So 120 is what my angle finder says. Now let's get over to the miter saw. I'm going to show you how to translate that onto the saw and make two perfect cuts that's going to fit this like a glove. 20 is what our angle finder told us. So you want to divide that by two. That gives us 60. So we need two 60 degree cuts is what you would think right here by looking at this number to make that 120. This is the deal. You got to remember you're dealing with complementary angles on a miter saw. Zero on a miter saw is actually 90. Okay, here's the zero on a miter saw. Then you go 80, then you go 70, then you go 60, so on down. So let's check it out. So zero is a 90 degree cut. It's a square cut. It's 90. 10 is going to be 80. 20 is going to be 70. And 30 is going to be 60. So let's come right here. And if you notice, those angles all make 90, right? Complementary angles. 60, you need 260 cuts. What's 30? 60 and 30 is 90. So it's 30 on the miter saw. Saw so set at 30 degrees. Or should I say 30? We got our baseboard. Make sure you got your eye protection on. All right. Now one cut, we're gonna flip it over just because this is for demonstration purposes only. All right, now let's cut, cut it in the middle and go see if this fits the wall. All right, guys, we're back on our imaginary wall. We got our two baseboards cut. Let's see just how they fit. This was your trim. Look at that. Okay, we're back on another imaginary wall. Check out this angle. This is an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. Let's check it out. Let's see what this angle measures. This angle is right at 60. Okay. So, 60. Let's go to the miter saw and let me show you how to do this. So we got 60. Divide 60 by 2 and you get 30. So you need two 30 degree cuts it's saying. So knowing what we know on a miter saw, let's see what we got here. Because we know this is an acute angle. Start at 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 45, 40. I don't have 30. My saw doesn't go that far back. So in order to do this, I have to make a jig to scrap wood. Because our saw doesn't go all the way back to 30. And you want to secure it down. If you don't have this on your miter saw, get you some clamps or something. Um, CA glue will hold it temporarily until you finish because you don't want this piece to move. Okay, you want that piece nice and tight. 
So now I'm gonna slide my saw over to 45 and cut. It's at 45, all right? I gotta hold this board steady. Now I'm gonna cut this angle. Okay, hold this piece tight and put your saw back to zero, okay? And now, with this piece here cut at a 45, when the, saw, when the saw is zero and I put this piece of trim in right here against here, that is when it gives me a 45 cut at zero. So to get the two 30s I need, I need to start, now zero is my 45. And if I go to 10, it's 35. And if I go to 15, it's 30. So I'm gonna set my saw to 15 with the jig. I want y'all, you may have to watch this a couple of times if you're not grasping it. So now I got the correct angle. So you need to make sure that your piece of trim is nice and tight against your block. One cut, slide that next piece of trim in, make sure it sits flush. Now that should be two 30 degree cuts. And they should match up on that piece when we get back to it. Let's go check it out. We're back to our imaginary wall. We got our two pieces I cut. Let's see how they fit. Nice and tight. Look at that fit. Thanks for joining me today. I hope I explained to everyone how to cut acute and obtuse angles. Measure every angle because most angles in houses on corners are not 90 degrees. They're 88 degrees, 86 degrees, 92 degrees. You want to get accurate cut so those miters look really nice and you don't have gaps in them. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like, and share. Y'all have a great day.